What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Dylan Grubby, like Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 25,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But the weather here in Michigan is pretty wild right now. We actually had ice a little while ago, but it all melted. And it is back to open water season here in January of 2023. It is cold out there, it's like 20 to 25, maybe even 30 degrees right now. And there's a lot of guys actually out there in their boats right now it's crazy because like almost two or three weeks ago there was guys out there on Saginaw Bay and Saginaw River ice fishing it's just insane to me this weather here in Michigan for January especially is really really cr crazy we've had a mild winter it's been pretty warm all winter so far but hopefully hopefully here soon we can get some safe ice but I know there's a lot of guys out there walleye fishing right now so in today's video I wanted to recap a couple different methods on how you can catch walleye out there on the bay or even in the river. Um, I've got a couple different methods to show you guys in today's video. These are actually catches from last year and the year before, but actually when you're in the river, you're going to be wanting to use a little tiny jig head. I'll actually leave um, a little clip right here showing you guys what setup that I use. I was actually out there walleye fishing with one of my buddies, Evan, and he rigged everything out for me. If you guys want to check out his guiding service, I'll leave all his info below, but he's a really, really cool guy, awesome guy, but he rigged up everything for me, but I'm gonna leave a little clip right here of what rig we were using to catch walleye. All right, guys, what is a beautiful morning out here on Saginaw River. Before I start jigging for these walleyes, I wanted to quickly show you what I'm gonna be using for bait today. This is a jig head, a green jig head, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna be putting this blue ice color bait on the back of it. And also I put a little minnow on the back for scent. This is a great setup to catch walleyes up here on Saginaw River. So hopefully we can find the fish today and catch a bunch of fish. We'll see you guys on the go. So that was actually the rig that we were using to catch the Saginaw River walleye. It was a blast. We caught so many different walleyes. And basically what you're doing when you get to that spot, walleye fishing is pretty simple when you can find the fish. Basically the hardest thing is trying to locate those fish on your graphs and everything. But basically when you find those fish, you just drop your lure down your jig and then you just go up, down. You just hit, you just honestly just keep hitting or you're, you're honestly bottom bouncing, I think is what it's called. But you go up, down, up, down, and eventually you'll feel when you lift up, you'll feel a bunch of weight and that's how you know there's a walleye. I'm actually gonna leave a couple clips right here of catching walleyes with that certain method. Oh, that's, that's a biggin'. good one. Biggin. Biggin. Actually, it might that be is one. a nice one. Unless you snag in the butthole. Getting bigger. Yeah, they are. It's a nice one, guys. I think the biggest yet today that I've caught. Fuck, I just had a hit. Double. Oh, that was sweet. Two mine, nets. Mine's a good one. My, so is mine. It is. Yeah, it's a nice one. Sweet. Thanks. Oh, that was cool, a double. How big is yours? Little guy. <laughs> go back. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys, right now we're going to be going over the second method of how I caught him actually out on the Saginaw Bay. It was really, really cool. I was out there with my buddy Blue Jays outdoors, and he was actually showing me this way how he catches them in certain tournaments because he fishes a walleye series tournament i forget what it's called but he catches a lot of big walleye so i figured i would go out with him if you aren't subscribed to his channel go check him out i'm gonna leave him over in the corner but this is a really cool method we actually went around some little island out there we scanned for about 20 to 30 minutes maybe even longer trying to locate those walleyes but once we found them we started casting rattle traps or lipless crankbaits if you would call them and just 
throwing them right at the walleyes and reeling them super slow, buzzing it off bottom, um, buzzing it off bottom and just reeling it in slow. And those rattles, those worked really, really good to catch those walleyes. I ended up catching two different big walleyes. So, and I've never even done that before. So that was really, really cool to do that. But I'm actually gonna leave a little clip right here catching those walleyes. I just pulled it out of the rocks and I just felt a monster yank. That's a big one too. Yeah, really big. I just pulled it out of the rocks. Hit spot lock. I just felt a monster. That's a big one too. Yeah, really big. I've already caught one really nice walleye. We're out here up north right now we're actually planning on doing some bass fishing oh that's a big one we're planning on doing some bass fishing but we got here and there's duck hunters everywhere in all our spots where we are gonna bass fish so, blue jays recommended we we should come out here and try for walleye and i've already caught one walleye casting That's a good one. Alright guys, check out that beautiful walleye. That was really cool. We're just working right around this little island out here jigging rattle traps. Blue Jays actually recommended casting for him because he does it all the time. Um, I usually jig for walleyes. I've never really done a ton of casting, but I guess it works. That's my second walleye already of the morning, and that's a pretty thick one too. What do you, what is that? Like, probably, how long do you think that is? Probably 22 yeah. inches, something like that. 22. So about three, pound, three pounder. Yeah, three pounder, really good one. But, all right, hopefully we can get on a couple more. This is pretty cool. I haven't caught walleye in a long 